Hey Gavox here, so today I want to show you how to bomb every single coverage in Madden 20. Um, with house rules coming up this week, we need 75 wins, which is a ton, and basically rewarding longer than 50 yard touchdowns with an instant win. Uh, longer than 20 yard passes, I think, are 12 points. You're playing to 20, so you really uh, want to bomb it. I know a lot of, I saw some talk on the interwebs about, you know, us, us working together as a community and just quitting out if you're way team. That's stupid, right? Collusion's stupid. Let's just go ahead and play bombs away on each other, see if we can complete this stuff. Uh, but uh, that's kind of what I'm expecting. All right, let's start off with. Uh, Cover three. All right, we'll do cover three first. So you want, you basically want to be on the short side of the field and you want your fastest guy right here on that post pattern. So, Flood, I am in Oakland playbook, Oakland playbook, Oakland playbook. Uh, so I don't have to repeat myself again. So, because a lot of people always ask me in the comments about playbooks, Oakland, Oakland, Oakland offense, streak. This is kind of the, this is the combo you want. You can do anything you want with A and Y, the running back and tight end, but this is basically the combo you want to see. Hill, on the, on the post, a streak, and then a comeback. Somebody really fast. Randy Moss is great for that spot. Post specialists are even greater. The better your post specialist, the better you're going to do. So I threw that a little wrong uh, with a bad pass lead. Uh, we'll, we'll try that again. All right. So streak, post pattern. I like, this, I like to play that post pattern to the sticks too sometimes. The last one wasn't to the sticks. I'll max protect also. Like you can have uh, him on like a drag as a check down. And it's also good for distracting the user from, from the one play bomb too. Um, so streak, post pattern. Oh, gosh. And then I fumble. I don't know. You guys can see him running open, right? This, this freaking pass rush got me. You'll see that pass rush in the game too. Uh, it's going to be kind of extreme. So you'll have to do a little bit of funky stick, funky comadina there. Uh, to, to get away from the pass rush, but yeah, just just a generic shed there. But you see how he was coming open because he bites on the comeback route. So that bite on the comeback route, uh, while he's running open free over there, you pass lead in here, you get a touchdown. All right, so so there's a few bombs I'm just gonna do quickly in this video. Um, all right, you can also do like uh, same with cover three. If you don't want to do a tight set, if you don't want to do that bomb, there are other ways to bomb it. Let's just go with something like doubles halfback week. All right, let's make sure yeah Tyreek's in the right spot. Um, it doesn't really matter what play you call as long as you have a two wide series on one side of the field cover three sky again put the X and a comeback streak Y and this is basically set up I'm gonna max protect so I get some more time you can always go with like a, a Robinson on an in or something for a check down something like that but here's the combo again but this is from a wider set even even harder for your opponent to understand F hold basically uh, almost on the on the thumbstick hold if you're going to the left See how's that to the wide side of the field? Hold it at nine o'clock, a hundred all the way to the left. Okay, so I'll show it to you again. That's where you get a pass lead. You can't, you don't hold it up. Hold it all the way to the left uh, at nine o'clock in order to get that pass lead off. So he got he got jammed even, um, and then the, this guy gets addicted to that comeback route, and then you just hold it on the outside, and it's a one play touchdown against cover three. So if you want to stop that on defense, if you're on the receiving end, you will need to deep half your your cornerbacks, which is when you click on them. Uh, a to click on them and then you could go right stick right do you see how it says deep half right there and this will stop that one play bomb uh, I guess I'll, I'll show it to you uh, comeback streak same setup max protect and uh, then you're kind of then you're kind of living with him oh I got sacked but do you see how he's kind of running straight for stride with him he couldn't really pass lead left on him uh, as it would be a pick or a kind of a play but that's basically what you need to do in order to stop it. So that's the cover three beaters that you'll be able to use either by a wide set or a tight set, your choice uh, with that kind of combo. All right, so that is cover uh, three. It's cover two, same as last year. I love fake screen wheel. Any type of route, now it depends on your book. Not, a lot of, not every book has fake screen wheel. Do you see this real middle route right here? This one that has a slight bend in. You'll want to find a route like that with a slight bend in because if it's a straight streak, he'll be too much. He'll be too close to the middle or uh, to the left uh, safety right there. So fake screen wheel is perfect for this because it takes advantage to cover two. So we'll go to nickel again, cut Tampa two wide side of the field, and ooh, I really wish Hill was in it. So because Hill's not in the slot, it's not going to work. But basically, all these things you need speed, speed, speed. We'll still try it with Watkins, and I like to swerve a little bit, get a better animation on that rack. Uh, but that's basically what you want to do. Just practice a little swerve. It's not that hard. It takes you like five, ten minutes to master. You can go into practice mode. But do you see how I uh, split? I didn't no adjustments. Splits the safety. Go with go, you know your Moss, your Hill, that kind of speedy guy there. Pass lead it forward, one hundred percent, and then uh, make sure you try and swerve to get a better rack animation. Uh, if it gets if it's contested, try and hit Y um, just so that it breaks the ball up a little bit better. So that's your cover two beater. Easy peasy. 
Um, what's next? Cover four drop show two. You'll probably see quite a bit. So let's bomb cover four right now. Um, this is in a lot of books. You can also here. I'll, I'll show multiple ways of doing this. PA zone shot is the easiest one for this. So cover four drop show two. There you go. I like to reblock my running back so that way I don't care about the play action. You can also put Robinson on a check down, but I'll, I'll I'll show it to you like this. So you just wait in the pocket. Use your thumbs. Use your thumbs, and then boom. And then you uh, just again Tyree Kill and faster guys are better than that. Pulse splashes is really glitchy. Just makes it even easier. Um, but basically you're just bombing it over top of the coverage so there you go there you go oh 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 and there you go hold i like to hold completely right there too um because you'll be way over those other two so that's cover four bomb uh, you can do that with other wide post routes it doesn't necessarily need to be out of this set let me see if i can audible to that other one gun um not tight doubles where was it gun tight slots do i have no i don't have it here darn uh, that, that other play I showed you earlier also bombs that cover four uh, just by motioning out. So if you like that tight set and you're like, oh, I should bomb cover three here. But then they come out to cover four. Here's how you change that. So they come out, you think it's cover three, but then you read cover four pre-snap. All you have to do is motion out hill. And again, like I say, block running back for extra time. This will also bomb cover four again to the short side. So there's definitely, definitely the, the hash marks definitely matter. And boom. So that also just motioning out a post pattern. So post pattern, crosser pattern is generally the way to bomb cover four in this game. So you can get over top of that coverage too. What's next? Uh, let's do man coverage. So a lot of people might call man press, maybe mid blitz on you. Um, so let's go man uh, doubles halfback weak. Digs Y corner will be in doubles halfback weak. So we are going to go mid blitz and press. Mid blitz and press. All right, there we are. All right, so the, the real route, you really want to have, you see Watkins' route, so Watkins is not good enough. You want to have a 90 release to get a really glitchy outside release. So that's somebody like Randy Moss. There's a ton of receivers at 90 release, but I don't know if Watkins has it. Uh, but yeah, he, he does enough, and that's basically how you beat man press. That's called an old school fade, okay? An old school fade has an outside route release. Do you see how, he, do you see how it's got like a little bend on the outside of the Watkins route right there? That's old school fade. Now, it has to be a, a dramatic bend. Uh, the regular fade, now watch this. I'm going to audible to him a regular fade. This regular fade isn't as good, and it doesn't work, and it's not going to work for you. So don't do that one. Uh, if it's off-man coverage, generally double moves will work. Sluggo routes are okay. Generally, off-man is a little tougher to one-play bomb in this game. But, uh, yeah, like I said, double moves are the way to go. I don't see a ton of off-man except in heavy blitz. And in heavy blitz, you won't be able to double move them anyways. So you just want to check down. Uh, they're playing a little quicker. Like I said, if, if you need, oh, did I say this? Uh, the hot route master, hot routes, post pattern is amazing. Post and corners are amazing against man coverage. So if they come out man, uh, you, you have yourself like a Tory Holt with a hot route master on it, hot route, a post or a corner, and you're basically glorious. Otherwise, fast corners work really well. Um, not all corner, corners are the same. Uh, what are the coverages do we have? Palms? There is palms out there. What do I want to do with palms? Trips? Uh, trips tight and flex. We'll just go like four verticals, I guess, to bomb palms. And all right, nickel. Palms is one of them. Okay, so we got palms coverage. Basically, I think it is a streak of the middle guy, curl of the. So it's like this curl your B and your X guy, streak your hill route. Uh, you can block your halfback, and that's kind of what you want to do. The other tight end can do whatever you want. And then it's just, uh, they, they can't keep up really with a fast receiver right there from the nickel slot. Um, I guess a faster guy would be better for the nickel. But generally, the way they react to it, you can kind of get over top with a fast play right there against Palms. Uh, last year, used to be a flat route, post route. So, like, this concept last year worked a lot against Palms. Doesn't I think they fixed it this year. Um, so, this doesn't work. This isn't a one play against Palm anymore. Flat route, uh, streak route. Well, actually, never mind. It was. <laughs> So flat route, and I, I, he got caught up to me because I'm slow. Uh, flat route, streak routes against palms also work. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, flat routes, streak, but it's got to be two by two. Palms you won't see a lot, though. Quarters you see a little bit of. Um, so let me go to quarters here. i got to find something with a deep post, though. All right, like PA crossers I think will be okay against quarters. So PA to so quarters right here. It's also good on a hot route master. Um, so I think it is mm, streak. Uh, I actually don't remember. I think it's something like this, and then distract him. 
Something like this. I'll take a look at this. Yeah, there it is. It's very similar to the other one. God dang it, that didn't really work very well. Um, maybe Robinson needs to be faster on a better streak. Where's the streak? All right, maybe you put Robinson's hot route Robinson to the stock streak, and then so something like maybe maybe this would be even better. Yeah, there you go. If I had time, you see how X was coming wide open. So that's it. Hot route to the uh, the the first down marker for Robinson, and then you gotta have time. Like like I said, all one play bombs rely on time. But that's it. For the video, I hope that was good. Bombed every single coverage I could think of. Um, I'm sure there's some inverted coverages and stuff too, but that's basics, the majority of what you'll see. So good luck out there. Good luck with your house rules grind. And uh, thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.